This, this, this is 7.30 Can I witness news. The marathon begins. The marathon. 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 The coalition and Labor. Uh, neck and neck. Neck and neck. Neck and neck. Neck and neck in the polls. We've got an election on the 2nd of July. We've got uh, eight weeks. We're excited by it. We can see the enthusiasm. This is very, uh, very exciting. It is. I would like to see Greens working with Labor. Tell them they're dreaming. Tell me dreaming. Sometimes dreams come true. Education. Innovation. Education. Innovation. We say what we mean, we mean what we say, and we do what we say we'd do in the way we say we would do it. Think about it. There's a hung parliament. We, we, we would, no, there would. How do you do? Good. 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 Week two. Week two. Week two. What a shamozzle. Well, how awesome is this? Uh, Mr. Turnbull. Mr. Short. Mr. Turnbull. Mr. Shorten. You cannot trust them. And they are lying. Yeah, go on. You keep talking. You <laughs> have to do something. Yeah, just... What we are doing at the moment here to just show you. Malcolm Turnbull backed his immigration minister. After Peter Dutton suggested refugees won't be, uh, you know, numerate or literate in their own language, let alone English. Please explain. Must explain. These people would be taking Australian jobs. Take Aussie jobs. jobs. The Prime Minister has defended Mr Dutton. He agrees. Describing him as an outstanding immigration minister. Peter Dutton is pointing out the self-evident fact. There's no sense in sugarcoating that. We shouldn't that. run away from it. They took our jobs! They took your jobs! These people would be taking Australian jobs. Yeah. Now come on, give us a kiss and a cuddle for the panel. No, no, no. <laughs> they took my job. On the election campaign, the government is not telling the truth. A load of bull. A great big fat lie. But is anybody really listening? No. Mr. Shorten has a spendometer. That's what he's got. You can put that on the spendometer. The spendometer. The spendometer. Billion dollar bill. Billion dollar bill. <laughs> It's like one of those Hollywood films. Billion dollar bill. <laughs> what Mr Turnbull calls me doesn't worry me in the slightest. Five billion. Thirty billion. Two billion. Seven billion. Thirty billion. Thirty billion. Eighteen billion. Thirty billion. Eighteen billion. Eighteen billion. Twenty billion. Thirty billion. 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 billion, billion, billion. Um, Still ahead, but going backwards, making jokes about losing the election. It's not what he wants to hear. But Malcolm Turnbull is arrogant. Uh, we'll later keep the school kids bonus. The, the what well, we've in term, the baby bonus, school kids bonus. I'm sure he's had a couple of rough days. Mr. Shorten is uh, very caring and very much in touch. Mr. Turnbull is uh, down as preferred prime minister. The Hollywood actor Johnny Depp and Barnaby Joyce. Barnaby Jones. Yeah. He looks somehow like inbred with a tomato. <laughs> I think I'm turning to Johnny Depp's Hannibal Lecter. I'm inside his head, pulling little strings. The election battle enters its fourth week. One month to go. I'm pumped up. One, two, three, four. Our plan for Australia's economic growth will create a strong economy. It is about stronger economic growth, a strong economy, and an economy that is strong. Many watching it struggle to fight off sleep. <sighs> same old Labor, same old Liberals. Uh, I didn't interrupt you, but feel free to go right. ahead. <clears throat> Bill Shorten has declared war. Boy. That escalated quickly. Drum roll. He's declared war. Let's get real about this. Our plan. Our plan. And I have that plan. His plan. Sorry, what? That is not our plan. Bill Shorten's plan is for power. Full scale assault. War in our time. There will be casualties. There will be consultation on various changes. There will be no changes to the policy. There will be no changes to the complexities of superannuation. Superannuation. <laughs> Well, Neil, this is obviously a gotcha moment. The good news is that we've now passed the halfway mark. We're just over four weeks in. With another 24 days to go. Only halfway there. 
Plus. The latest news poll indicates a potential dead heat. 50-50. 50-50. The reality is... The question is... The fact of the matter is... What do you think... What, well, what do you think... What do you think has happened? I mean, let's face it. Men in Australia... Look to their little women. Sexism. So last century. I would describe myself as a feminist. But you're not. You're... I, well, if you just... You, you speak. I mean, yeah, good discussion. I wouldn't vote for Labor. I wouldn't vote for the Greens. I wouldn't vote for Independence. I wouldn't vote for the Coalition. Why would they admit to something like that? Mums, you know, dads. Mums and dads. <laughs> Mothers, fathers. I'd vote. Zoolander economics. Why? I beg your pardon? Why? And we have an innovative election. Facebook. You know, Facebook. Online. Stream. Social media. Facebook. The smartphone era. That's the modern world. This is the 21st century. You've got to use... Facebook. Let, what, if you just... This is the most exciting time to be an Australian. Is this ever going to end? We are the only side in this election that has a plan that will deliver the stronger economic growth and more jobs. I need to get a pair of socks. Let's go for it. We can't have fun or a laugh or a joke anymore in this country. Oh yeah? Watch this. Another example today of short nomics. <laughs> Very short on economics. I do my best. July 2, the day of decision. I would never be so arrogant as to say we will win on July the second and we'll win the federal election. How out of touch just to simply to declare that Australians will return us to government and we'll win. Oh. Vote, 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 Labor, coalition, Labor, coalition, Labor, coalition. For goodness sake, vote, 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 Well, Malcolm Turnbull has singled out Labor's claims he plans to privatise Medicare as the biggest desperate, absurd, outrageous, extraordinary, bizarre, bizarre shameful, desperate, extraordinary lie. The biggest lie. The bizarre lie. The biggest lie. It is a complete lie. lie. The biggest lie. Desperate lies. They are telling lies. Um, it defies, it, it defies, but it defies belief. Don't believe what Malcolm Turnbull's words are. The Prime Minister says that Medicare will never, ever, never, ever, 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 never, 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 ever, 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 never be sold. Again. Will never, ever, never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, 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 never, never be sold. Stop. Who do you trust? 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 You can't trust the Liberals. We cannot trust them. They should be ashamed of themselves. It is shameful. No one believes you, Malcolm. It is extraordinary. What a weak fellow we have leading Australia. It is, um, uh, well, it, the, uh... Bill Shorten's attempt to claim Malcolm Turnbull had committed the gaffe that marked the end of the Prime Minister's credibility. It will go down as the defining moment in this campaign. He said, what political parties say they will support and oppose is not ultimate, necessarily ultimately what they will do. That's, that is, that's, oh, blah, 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 blah. that, that is, that is, that is outrageous. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, no, complete rubbish. I think this has been one of, my, one of the most tedious campaigns that I've seen for generations.